Today, we will be talking about the myths and legends for a special insect known as the Black Witch. For starters, this is actually not a butterfly at all, but a moth that resembles a butterfly, or more closely a bat, with the wingspan reaching 7 inches in length. This moth is the largest in the superfamily Noctuoideae and is the only species in the genus Ascalapha. Most insects have many species under one genus, which means they have a lot of close relatives, but this moth breaks the mold. The species itself is called Odorata and can be found from southern United States throughout Central America, down to Brazil, and even Hawaii. The Black Witch also has some unique legends and myths associated with it depending on where you live. For example, in Mexico, it is known as Mariposa de la Muerte, or the Butterfly of Death, and is considered a harbinger of death if it flies into your home and a person is ill. A similar belief is held in Rio Grande, Texas, but only if the moth flies in all four corners of the house. Hitting the four corners is meant to symbolize the four cardinal directions. As to why that matters though is beyond me. But that's what they believe. In other parts of Texas, it is considered a sign of luck. And if you find one on your door, you might want to consider purchasing a lottery ticket. Now let's move off the continent and check out the legends on some islands, starting with Hawaii, which is where I lived for around four years. In Hawaii, this moth symbolizes the visitation of a recently deceased. And while I lived on Oahu, I saw many of these moths. So unless people were constantly dying around me, I don't necessarily believe this legend. In Jamaica, it's called the Duppy Bat and is the embodiment of a lost soul. In the Bahamas, it is known as the Money Moth. If it lands on you, then you will come into some quality fortune. I really hope that last one is true, because I've handled quite a few of these while I stayed in Hawaii. In pop culture, the Black Witch was used by the serial killer Buffalo Bill in the novel Silence of the Lambs. Pupae of this moth were placed into the mouths of victims. They were not used in the movie adaptation, however, because it was very difficult to get the moth during the season it was filmed, and the second moth of choice looked more sinister anyway. In the movie, they used pupae of the Death's Head Sphinx Moth. And I must admit, the moth and pupae for this species do indeed fit the bill. Pun intended. Going back to the Black Witch, these moths actually have something known as sexual dimorphism, which means the males and females have a different appearance. Males tend to be smaller, and female moths have a band of white and pink across their wings. Another cool fact is that black witch moths actually migrate from southern territories during the rainy season. In the states, reports have been made across the country, from Texas up through Vermont. This usually happens between June and October, which is very fitting for the Halloween season. I've personally never noticed one and I grew up in Vermont, but I know they have been reported. If you would like to try and lure one, it isn't very difficult. The moths are extremely attracted to light but you can also entice them with a sugary glaze made from bananas, sugar, molasses, and cheap beer. Just put everything together, mix it up, and then smear it over tree bark or a separate board. This will attract many insects though, so don't be disappointed if you find everything but a black witch. Black witches are known to be gluttons for overripe fruit and sugary foods, which might explain why their primary predators are bats, other predators include birds and small rodents, but honestly I have no idea how a small rodent would get their paws on one, because the moths themselves are very active. Before we end today's episode, I wanted to talk about another moth in the same family as the Black Witch. Some of you might know what it is. It is… The White Witch. Yes, the White Witch is another large moth actually larger than the Black Witch, and is found further south, with Texas being the furthest north you can see one. This moth is white as you'd imagine, but it has really cool cartoony patterning on the wings and body. The moth got its name from its ability to dodge shotgun blasts from naturalists trying to hunt them. 
It's not too surprising that naturalists back in the day would take aim at this moth though, because the wingspan can reach 12 inches, making it just as large or larger than some of the bats and birds. In Appalachian folklore, a white moth means an ancestor is visiting you. Of course, another more spooky legend associated with the color white would be the lady in white or woman in white. She is an apparition that appears across many cultures and regions, but all the stories are relatively similar, involving tragedy and death. I was told not to explore the forests at night while staying in Belize due to the appearance of a woman in white leading people astray.